We are here at the 2011 Drake Relays with Gwen Berry, the uh, Southern Southern Illinois uh, senior and the uh, McClure graduate, yeah. and uh, had a um, great day today here. Went in, uh, went in the. Uh, well, oh, we'll switch over here with a little traffic. I'll move this way to get a little more light on you. Sorry, but we will. Uh, Things went well today with Hammer Throw, your first Drake Relays champion? Second. Second, okay. Went, so, two time Drake champion and yes. won the uh, Hammer Throw today and a, uh, one of the top marks in the country. Yes. Um, what two, you said, what, how what was the distance? Um, 70, 52, which is 231. 231, and you said the top collegiate mark in the country yes. and maybe the top couple in the country yes. overall? Top, probably top three. Yeah, yeah. And what did you say? You obviously competed here before, and the nationals will be here in about six weeks. Tell me about what you, what the facility and the ring, how you um, handled it. It was hard to get you, uh, accustomed to, you know, the first couple of throws, but that's where I got accustomed to it, and I relaxed. You know, I did what I had to do, and I executed, and I threw hard. Yeah, yeah. What? Uh, and I remember, I think your freshman sophomore year, I looked on the website, and they had you as a multi-event athlete, yes. and I, you know, obviously we had very successful in high school with the. Uh, not only the throws, but the triple jump, yes. 37, 38 feet, Pierre. Okay. Uh, obviously, a lot of success in the throws and discontinued the multis. But um, um, your senior wrapping up a great career and had a. Uh, tell me a little bit about experience being on the U.S. team. Was that the Pan Am Games or was that the NACA? That was the NACAC USA team, and uh, it was good, you know, it gave you a taste of, like, you know what I'm saying, if you do go pro, what it would be like, you know, the atmosphere, competing against the different countries, people from different countries around yeah. the world. So it was a nice experience, and, you know, I'm wearing that USA, you, you were wearing that USA uniform yeah. for the first time, that was, was pretty great. nice? It was freaking awesome. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, you always, once you make a USA team, you always want to go back, so right. that's what I'm throwing for, I'm working hard to do what I got to do, I want to yeah. make it again. And what, did you come away with a second, third place medal? I came with a third. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that was a great experience yes. and come away with some hard well, even making it even better. Yes. And I had a great indoor season through, yes. was it 74 feet? Yes. And uh, was the was six, eighth best college or U.S. women's throw in time? Eighth best of all time. And uh, I was leading the nation and second in the world. Yeah. And uh, and uh, we named the uh, region region th female uh, throat yeah or, or multi or, I mean uh, field event athlete yeah. of the year and a big honor and I know uh, indoor nationals probably didn't go as well no. for you we weren't, weren't happy with that um I just basically kind of psyched myself out like I felt like you know everybody was bigger than me and not probably, well stronger than me yeah they was I feel like weight favors bigger women. So I just felt like I had to prove something to everybody and I kind of, you know, just psyched myself out and I felt like I had to be perfect instead of just enjoying it and throwing. Yeah. So it was a lesson learned. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, obviously great mark here today and uh, um, I guess conference in two weeks, is that yeah. right? At, where is that at? Iowa, Northern Iowa. Northern Iowa, okay. Uh -huh. And then uh, obviously that first round will be, let's see, you guys are in the east? Is yeah, that Reese? Yeah, go to Oregon. For Okay, so you're in the West yeah. then. So it'll go out to Eugene for the first round of the championships, and then hopefully things will go well and be back here for the NCAA's. What yeah. have you got any? What are your, you know, final season goals? Are you got any marks or um, places you're shooting for? I really or? Throw 72 before USA's. Okay. So whether 72, what's what's 72 that? 72 meters. Which is That's probably like 240? 240. Yeah, okay. 240s. So if I can execute that, then I'll be happy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know what the US qualifier is? Was that, if you reached I think the that standard. today? Yeah. Okay. I made a standard for USA's and a for Worlds. For Worlds? So, oh, awesome. I'm yeah. I think you're the second Missourian to do that this year. Matt Tegenkamp did it in 5,000 meters in Australia a month ago or so. But, um, what um, obviously finish out strong but obviously looking to to stay healthy and keep keep going have you yeah. how much thought have you you spent any time about thinking about next year and try, um, and still competing and yeah of course i'm definitely going to keep competing especially if i make any usa team yeah. this year so um it's just all in you know executing and training and getting better the better i get the longer i'll be in the game yeah yeah so that's the plan tell me what it's like uh at Southern Illinois with obviously uh, a Missouri native and great great head coach and Olympian Connie Price Smith and yeah. uh, even and her husband coach Smith John yeah. Smith about 
competing for them and, and being training under them. I mean, it's always a pleasure training under coaches who believe in you and, you know what I'm saying, who work you to your maximum potential. So, um, I mean, it's great. It's a good atmosphere, you know. You're competing for somebody who, who has done great things and has accomplished great things. So she can always come to me and tell me how she felt or what she experienced. And then, you know what I'm saying, I could take that and roll with that and, you know, do what I have to do to try to make it there. Yeah. So, you know, you always, anytime you have a great coach, you always want to pe compete to the best of your ability for them because they prepare you for it. So. Right. Good. Yeah, not only the not only the Missourian there, but also uh, Aaron Atkinson's a freshman from Ladue, and then uh, is it Raquel Roach? Am yeah. I saying that? Okay. Raquel Roach. And uh, let's see, she is, she's a senior this year yeah. also. Okay. But she has one more year of eligibility. Eligibility. Well. Okay. And uh, well, congrats on a great Thank day today, you. and uh, enjoyed your your said half of victory lap. Yeah. Went about 200 meters about with that flag around the track, lap. and uh, um, wish you. Good luck the rest of the season, and hopefully uh, things will stay healthy and uh, great things to come for you. Thank you. Thanks. God bless.